Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you how to add the thirst mechanic into Minecraft without mods. Thirst Water is a data pack that adds multiple features into Minecraft, such as a new interface, new items, crafting recipes, and blocks. Straight away when entering your world, you'll find an indicator of thirst in the bottom right. These water bottle icons can also change colour to green if you drink dirty water, meaning you're poisoned. To ensure you don't drink dirty water though, the creator has added a water purifier you can craft. The water purifier interface looks like this, and it has two special slots for upgrades. There are three different upgrades you can craft to improve the water purifier. More information about what each one does and their recipes will be in the link in the description. Additionally, this day Data pack adds 20 items you can consume to make sure you don't die of thirst. If you want to find out what else this data pack includes, I'll be showing you how to download it and set it up on your server in the next segment, so stay tuned! Firstly, you can use the link in the description to get to the official download page. Scroll down to where it says download data pack and click it for your file to be instantly downloaded. Below that, you'll see that there's also a required resource pack button. If you click it and click download required resource pack, it'll instantly download that file too. To make the next step easier, make sure you move these zips to a place we can easily access. For example, your desktop. For this step, you're going to have to go to the server.pro website and access your server control panel from there. At the dashboard, make sure that the server version matches the data pack version to ensure no complications. As of now, the website states it's for 1.18 and above, but this may change in the future, so please check before continuing. Before proceeding to the next step, quickly confirm that the server is offline. I'll be showing you how to upload the data pack onto a world you've already created first. This data pack doesn't require you to make a new world, but if you're also interested in seeing that, I'll be showing you how to create a brand new world with the data pack enabled after. Firstly, what you want to do is head to the Files tab. Then, click on the World folder and the data packs folder. Here's where you're going to drag the Thirst Water data pack zip you downloaded earlier in the video. And that's it, the data pack is now uploaded onto your world. However, if you're interested in creating a brand new world with the data pack enabled, you're going to want to head to the Worlds tab. Here is where you're going to create a brand new world. You can set up your world name and adjust world settings as usual. Just make sure the world name doesn't have any special characters or spaces. Below, you'll see a button labeled Upload Data Packs. Simply click the Select Files button and then navigate to the area where you save the Thirst Water Data Pack zip to. Once you've found it, press Open and Create World. It'll take a couple seconds for the files to upload, but when that's done, you should go into the Files tab. Double click on your world folder and then go into the data packs folder. If you see the thirst water data pack zip inside, it means you have followed these steps correctly. Now that the data pack is uploaded onto the server, you'll have to make sure the required resource pack is also installed. To do that, you'll want to head back to the Files tab. Then open up the server.properties file and look for the line saying resource pack. After the equals, you want to right click and paste the link to the required resource pack. We ourselves have uploaded that file to our Dropbox, so if you'd like to use our link, we'll leave it in the description. Alternatively though, you can upload the resource pack to any website that supports creations of hotlinks, and then put your own hotlink into the server.properties file. Before continuing, make sure to press save file to confirm the changes. Also, don't forget to restart the server to ensure the resource pack is applied properly. And then, all you have to do is log into your server to experience the new additions. You can do this by heading to the dashboard and copying the host name. Afterwards, quickly launch your Minecraft application, and when it's open, head to the multiplayer section. Click Add Server, and in the Server Address section, paste the host name. When you join the server, you'll know the data pack is working if it shows the thirst indicator and a disclaimer in the corner. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.